Hello, this is Celito Rodriguez with uh, another short video on Office 365. Uh, this time, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to deactivate uh, directory synchronization. Uh, this is just a lab environment and um, uh, my dear sync server died. As a matter of fact, it was a VM and I, uh, I deleted it. So uh, I no longer need directory synchronization synchronization or so whatever the reason may be but uh, in a small environment like this I can manage uh, all the objects in Office 365 instead of manage them in Active Directory and that's what I'm gonna do so in the admin center you're gonna go to the uh, users option and by the way this is still the all admin center um, you could do it from either admin center but I still feel more comfortable some of the things do it in the old admin center um, anyway so you go to users go to active users and um, if you notice the warning over here says that my last sync was more than three days ago actually it's been more than a week that my uh, directory synchronization is not working another thing uh, important thing to notice is that I have a mixture of both a sync with active directory objects and in the cloud so any object that is in active directory and has been synced to office 365 it will have the status of sync with active directory uh, that means that um, any changes that you need to do to that object it has to be done with the on-premises active directory uh, and obviously uh, objects that are in cloud basically means that you can perform all kinds of actions in the cloud um, so here you just basically click on uh, on manage and when you click on manage uh, you're going to get to this window okay and um, here you are going to just click on deactivate uh, there's a lot of other things that you could do from here like for example if I had uh, an old version of uh, directory sync by the way Microsoft just announced that um, in in April of 2017 everybody that's the last day for directory synchronization everybody needs to update to the latest version which is AD connect uh, and uh, so if you have an old version of your sync you could upgrade it you know from here um, and um, uh, I did fix a number of things but in my case I just uh, need to deactivate so I click on the uh, deactivate button there and then I come to this window and and this is just a typical warning then you know why are you doing this I know exactly that I want to uh, deactivate directory synchronization if you don't have a reason or if you don't know um, whether you should deactivate or not then probably then you shouldn't <laughs> you need to know exactly what you're doing in terms of I mean this could be very very disruptive if you do this in uh, a live environment where you know where you actually need active uh, uh, directory synchronization so uh, be careful by doing this in my case I know uh, exactly what I'm doing and I don't have to worry about that so um, once you click on that then just follow the instructions and you're gonna come to this window a uh, couple of things well first of all you're gonna see uh, the, the the window over here saying that active directory synchronization has been deactivated and, and it could take up to 72 hours in a uh, huge environment for, for these things uh, to propagate um, in my case it's, it's a very small environment it was done almost immediately and, and notice how in the status of, of the users uh, I, now every single user in my environment sets in cloud so basically meaning that all identity management can now be done on the cloud instead of uh, on the on-premises um, um, Active Directory tools all right and um, so finally another important thing actually if I come back over here uh, notice what it says change the password expiration policy for your users now remember when you have dear sync enable uh, the password policy that it's that's in place it's the one in Active Directory because I n no longer will use Active Directory to manage this object I, I have to make sure that I understand uh, the password policy on Office 365 so uh, if you click on change now you're gonna get to this window and, and right now 
because I was managing my object in uh, on premises, the my password palace was set to never expire in Office 365, so that there was no conflict. Um, which is, uh, you know, and again, uh, now that I'm going to be managing my objects on the cloud, then I can change this. So if you want to manage the um, the days before the password expire, then you just uncheck that box over there and you put whatever days you want. The maximum number of days is 730, uh, which is quite, you know, <laughs> uh, so, so what's that? Like about two years, yeah, two years, and uh, and the days before user is notified, normally is fourteen days. You can set that to a maximum of thirty days. That means that when thirty days are left, uh, people uh, will get notification, and every day after, after you change your password. So again, um, in my case, you know, I'm gonna set to never expire. I want it, but in a production environment, you probably don't want that. Uh, but uh, you know anyway so you can configure those things over here and, and basically that's it this is how you deactivate uh, director synchronization thanks for watching